Good morning, everybody. It's Bishop Deb, and I am coming to you from Niagara on the Lake Ontario. I'm actually back home. I've been out, and and now I'm back. It's early in the morning, about eight o'clock in the morning on a Sunday. I'm sure many people are still in bed sleeping. Uh, it's actually a lot of people out there already today, but it's a gray day. It's been raining. It feels like spring rather than February. We continue to have more and more rainfall. Prayers for people in the Brantford, Chatham, Kent area. Uh, there is a lot of flooding, a lot of dangerous uh, places in that neck of the woods. Uh, state of emergency being called. So we send prayers to everybody who's affected and being rescued and, and helped out of their homes, which are terribly flooded. The uh, Grand River is like a, a it's raging right now. It's, it's, um, carrying all kinds of stuff with it that sooner or later is going to cause more problems down the road. So we we pray for them all. We pray for the first responders and for those who are trying to, to help people in emergencies. It's been a really heavy week on the planet. Uh, the shooting in, in Florida has, has uh, really mushroomed into uh, peaceful protests. Um, people have hit their saturation point, I think, with all the the tragedy and the violence. And the high school kids are absolutely to be commended and uh, supported in in their efforts to to get a change made. Something's got to give. That's the feeling right now. Something's got to give. In our own lives, you might have had a week of great difficulty with, you know, challenges coming your way. I'm I'm just going through my Facebook feed this morning and a lot of people asking for prayers, a lot of people who are uh, feeling overwhelmed and uh, upset by circumstances. So we keep everybody in our prayer going through a, a tough time. It's, it's a very energetically People blame eclipses. They blame all kinds of things. I don't know if any of that is actually true. All I know is that it's been a tough couple of weeks for a lot, a lot of people. And if you're one of them, know that every day I light a candle and I say prayers. And like they say, you know, where two or three are gathered, more, it's it's not like one plus one is two, but when we pray... It's like one plus another prayer plus another prayer. It's like a million. It's like a gazillion. Exponential. Exponential. The power of prayer is phenomenal. And, you know, we get cliche with thoughts and prayers, but it's a powerful thing. And so today, let's let's just take some time to offer prayer for the world. It's the second Sunday of Lent. It's a a time of great possibility and promise. A time when we're called to to pray and to remember how very important this network of humanity is. We're called to pray for our planet, for the creatures on it, for all people who are struggling and and, uh, experiencing challenges. So let's pray. Let's let's offer it all to Creator. Gracious God, we give you thanks for the gift of this new day, this wonderful Sunday. May it be truly a day of rest. May we give ourselves permission to escape from the busyness of the world for a while. May we give ourselves permission to come into your presence and just be. To be aware of our breathing. To be aware of our surroundings. To be aware of the beauty outside the window, even on a gray day. May we know that every situation, every circumstance, everything that comes into our lives that cause us anxiety or worry, is divinely outmatched because you are with us. 
You are bringing us answers. You are bringing us solutions. May we place our faith there. May we place our hope there. May we know that nothing happens in this life without you in our corner supporting us for good. We pray for all of those people at this time who are in any need or trouble. Those who are feeling ill, those who are suffering more serious illnesses, for their families. We pray for those in hospice. We pray for those in hospital. And we pray for all those who care for people in any need or distress. We offer you our worries and our concerns. It's been a tough week in the world. We know that your angels are working. We give thanks that they work in our lives too. We ask for answers to dilemmas. For happy endings. For good outcomes. You are with us. Your holy hand, your grace, your love, your guidance surrounds us. May we know that we have only to close our eyes, call you to our hearts and minds, to access your wisdom and your direction. Bring to us helpful people this day, dear Lord. Bring to us answers to those things that trouble our heart. Fill our lives with love so that we might continue happily and joyfully praising your name. And all this we ask in your holy name. Amen. Well, I hope you have a wonderful Sunday. I've got a lot of work to do today. I will try to take some rest. I might even go back to bed for a nap. But for now, a lot of things here that need to be uh, cleared up and uh, get me ready for a wonderful week. I hope you have a, a great Sunday, and we'll talk to you again soon on Prayer on the Go.